From Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida, this is Poker Night in America. Welcome to Poker Nights in America. I'm Chris Hansen, that's Joe Stapleton, and we are at Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida. Coming up tonight, Brad Garrett is the real star here. A phrase that has literally never been uttered in the history of television, but in this case, it happens to be true. It's my first cruise. I'm having a blast. Day three, our final day here at Seminole Hard Rock. I don't want to go home. Brad Garrett, great. I can only pass as funny if there's not someone who's actually funny around. This sucks. See, all he did was buy in for only red chips, and he's already more hilarious than my entire career. It's a little weird when it opens. We're trying to decide. Uh, we're trying to, to do Annie's on the button. I don't know. Nope, not, not too early. What's the underwear model? It's not stacked for that. <laughs> What's the matter, Brandon? You don't have a mirror? So do, do, are, are we doing Annie's? On, or, no, or no, no Annie's. No Annie's? Okay. We can do it later when everyone's stuck. Yeah. Yeah, once, when do you do Antis? Once we all our money, we can start it. 175. Yeah, once we have all tiny you're, stacks, you're we'll coming after the those run chips. Yeah, right. I'm really pumped that I get to raise right now. Ryan Fee raises with King Ten. Bowker gets involved, and now pocket aces. No way to get cards with bigger, uh, bigger numbers on them. Play the dealers quick with chips. There we go. Did you see the? How Brad, much is that? Are you real Brad Garrett? I, I am. Okay, awesome. I am. <laughs> On Twitter. How much is it? Six stacks. You gotta put, yeah, you gotta put out all these and then like most of that one. I'll tell you something, I got a good hand. <laughs> I got a good hand, big shot. Just telling you right now. You wouldn't do well in prison, but you're doing great here. <laughs> you're a little pretty. A little pretty. Throw a wig on you and yodel. What do you think? It's six all day? And that would make me pot committed. Am I correct? Because I only have five grand here. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing? I got a good hand. I got a good hand. Uh, God damn. Um, you beat 7-3? Is this going to be the whole show, this hand? I'm, if so, I'm fine with it. I just want to know. What is the time limit? 22 minutes. <laughs> they just well, edit out the dead air. Unfortunately, it's unlimited. Oh, this is dead air. So, so everyone thinks this is dead air. Yeah. I get it. All right. But you know, because I am the donkey, maybe during the break, I could, uh, I'm going to fold, OK? I, mm -hmm. All right? That's allowed. But, but maybe, maybe you know, we could talk about what, what you would have done. All right. OK, Gilligan, you'll give me five minutes? You, you got it. Okay. Whatever you want. Got a call from the professor. The raft's ready. <laughs> Who dresses like that? <laughs> okay. So I lose this. Good fold. Suddenly Brad Garrett sounds like an 84-year-old woman. A hilarious yeah, one. I'm Kyle Bowker like calling a little light I, and out of position. I had a better hand than one of them. I know I did. One of them. Maybe I, not I both. know I had him beat. Well, him for sure. He just, yeah, I mean, I he just sprays it. with trash. I'm worried about uh, Antonio uh, Estefardi. <laughs> now, did you call two over there? I called, yeah. Okay. Flop is nine seven four. Dangerous flop for Bowker as he pairs his nine. Can you count the pot for me, dealer, please. <laughs> it's not even allowed if you are in the hand. All right, here comes the turn. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, mommy likey. Here we go. Bowker now a top two. Two thousand. 100 American United States dollars bet by Kyle Bowker. I'm telling you, this Brandon Adams is a good looking dude. Like, he looks like how I think I look. <laughs> no. He's a good looking man. He would be your better looking brother. You mean Tad? No. No, no, no. Your better looking brother. Oh, I'm sorry. Jack on the river. Queen Nine's going to be feeling pretty good about this. Bowker playing some power poker. This is not a great run out for aces, hearts, straights, lots of two pair combos. Time. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, this is bull. <laughs> Read the book or don't play. <laughs> My marriage didn't last this long. Can you bump up the game a little bit? Skipper. Jason has no idea if Rad's even talking to him. He has no clue who the skipper or Gilligan are. That is, that is so not true. Oh. Queen nine is good. 
please. Yeah, Brandon Adams, welcome to Poker Night in America. Are those suited, sir? Yeah, of course. Uh, take it of easy. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny in, in, in retrospect, but really probably not the way to go with the chips. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be really so Poker Night in America brought to you by Kimo Sabi Mescal. So many reasons, like bragging. Kyle Bowker <laughs> straddling this hand. That's a blind raise to 100. He's last act before the flop. I'll stop. Maybe. Ace 10 for Brad Garrett. Jason thinks he has my number. No, I have Phil's number. Just because he won a Tesla me? off of me last time. Uh, I'm going to go. Not a full Tesla, though. Right? I think like this a, is 200. The new, the new the, cheaper, yeah, the, model. cheaper model. Yeah, the cheaper model. The cheaper model. Is that 200? But doesn't sound it's so good to tweet. I, I won the cheaper model of a Tesla. <laughs> you would never buy the expensive You won a Tesla? No, he won a Tesla the other day. Oh. Not literally a Tesla, but enough money to buy one. You and Marshmallow, you can go to the beach in it. Too. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> 200? We'd probably just Uber, though, the beach park in this brew. Ryan Fee, three batting to 700 with two tens. It's just a button raise, my brother. Nothing more than a button raise. <laughs> that actually is true. He's on the button and he raised. Mm -hmm. That is correct. I don't think I don't know what's happening. Valker, four batting. Mm -hmm. What's that? It's nothing but a. <laughs> Brad should probably fold, but let's just hope he takes a while to do it. I'm really enjoying this. He was going to get there. He didn't have, I don't know why you took the word. <laughs> Took the words right out yeah, of his mouth. That's exactly what he was about to say. I have a six. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Okay. I'm okay. You almost did a Daniel Negreanu. <laughs> that would have been Just embarrassing. Get that tie back to the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't like being bullied. What's your name? I'm bullying him. He's bullying Not me. you. Then you're bullying us. <laughs> <laughs> we drove together. <laughs> See, I think because I'm such the donkey. Brandon, w when you're done juicing, can you help me? <laughs> Unbelievable. Poker players don't usually look like that. No, is, no, is no. Anything, you know, he's, I mean, he's, 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 he's a, really a good, professor. He's a good mix, you know. Do, do, you have a, do you have a calendar out or anything like that? <laughs> no, no calendars. Anything? OK. <laughs> See, that's what I should have done with the aces. I should have raised like that. Yeah. 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 Such a f***ing idiot. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to give it up. Good fold, uh, Brad Garrett. Entertaining yeah. fold. I'm sorry. All in. He's all in. Bowker calls. I was say, I finally have a hand. I finally have a hand to go all in with, and I'm probably gonna be beat. Hey. <laughs> I guess that means you're at ace king. Let's see. Let's yeah. see. Do you have to see? Mm -hmm. Nine pounds. Oh, queens. queens and ten. Oh my God. Did you have yeah. better than that? Uh oh. What yeah. did you have? That's, yeah. that's such. Yeah. This is such a ridiculous monster for oh, us. Right, right. <laughs> so yeah. Sick. yeah. What did you have, Brad? Am I allowed to say? You can't yeah, say? you're allowed to say. Ace ten. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> At least you didn't also have tens. All right. Yeah. You see, so you didn't have you didn't have mm. a ten. No, he had a ten, but not yeah. two of them. Which mm. which ten one? Of was spades? It? Spade. Mm -hmm. It was a club. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I think it was a club. It was a club. Oh well, mm -hmm. your one out mm -hmm. is still. You're here. still alive. Mm -hmm. I have one out. That's not it. Kyle Bowker is going to scoop up a twenty thousand dollar pot. Oh, nice hand there, Kyle. Way to push the table around. Poker Night in America is brought to you by our trusted friend, Kimosabi Mezcal. Why settle for tequila? Step up to Kimosabi. Poker Night in America brought to you by Kimosabi Mezcal with Joe Stapleton as Chris Hansen at Seminole Hard Rock, Hollywood, Florida. But All right, Brad Garrett. He's been the most entertaining person at the table thus far. Let's see if that continues. You want me to split? No, we like having you <laughs> I, at the I table. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> Professor, I need you to bring it down just a scooch. <laughs> okay? All right. It's five. Wow, are you contemplating? Jason knows in this spot he's not going to be super far ahead, super often, but folding so boring. Oh, there we go. Value. Here for the gambling. And it's yeah. Domination Nation. Gamble, gamble. Ace Queen. Ace Queen? Yeah. Got me by one. Mercier shows the jack. Oh. Oh. Ooh, what are we all owing? I don't really know what is happening. Uh, the flop was jack, queen, eight, yeah. so they both hit their non-ace. Uh, I see. Space is not a factor. Buddy. And Brandon Adams is going to double up. 
Doesn't Brandon Adams look like the hot, modern reboot version of Egon Spengler? Come on, wouldn't he look great in a proton pack? Explaining about crossing the streams? What a cooler. Sickening. Think about it, Hollywood. <laughs> so it looks like Jason <laughs> Mercier will be straddling this hand. But if you if you get in, you're gonna have to pay with black chips, not red chips. <laughs> <laughs> but there is one suit available. Four candidates that can that could snag it at any time. Hope your engine's oiled. These guys are firing up the props. And now watch it on for doubles. Oh, yeah. Looks like I'm there's gonna be some That's side right. action wagered on the board sorry. pairing and or suits coming up. Fee with King Jack makes it 400 to Mercier. You know, some Brandon leaves, the energy, it's just, it's like nothing. Yeah, it's sucked out of the room. It. Yeah, yeah. Worth a call from the straddle. Check out the flop. It is eight, queen, ace. 600 the bet from Fee. Jason's got top air, back door to flush draw. He's only got one question. Where do I sign? <laughs> a call from Jason. Turn is a six of clubs. Jason's gonna be just fine with that card. Some hands got there, but most didn't unless they were already beating him. A check from Fee. And a check from Mercer. And same goes for this card. Very few hands just caught up. Now, if Ryan bets here, this will not be a value bet. This will be a good old-fashioned case of turning third pair into a bluff. I think Jason ends up calling this quite a bit. No offense to Ryan, but I've literally never seen Jason make the wrong decision ever. And this was an over bet, so if he is repping the nuts or air, kind of weird to do that with a hand that has showdown value. Wow, and he gets the better hand to fold, nice. You know, Jason was once called a bad rag, and I think that was inaccurate. I think he's a terrible rag. What a horrible, just kidding, man. Nice hand, right, V. That's like my biggest leak in props. Sleeping? Sleeping while playing the hand. By the way, sleeping like your prop is when you're Board comes out and you forget to mention it so you don't get paid. No. Am I supposed to just let you sleep? Yes, just let me sleep it, basically. Yeah, yeah don't remind the guy that his flop just came out. <laughs> yeah, if you're gonna be the person who points out that you owe somebody money. <laughs> There's no honor system in props. No, no. my prop if I don't call it. Brandon Adams straddling here. Brad Garrett raising. That's what you were asking. Right? King 10 suited. No, no, no. Uh, no, I was, just, I was just asking if I should point it out. Oh. I thought you meant like... Well, he's crushing him with king-queen. No, 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 no. Hollywood on Hollywood action. <laughs> How could you even do that? Like, <laughs> yeah. Right before it's about to Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Flop is 9-10-3. Garrett wiggles out of it for now. I don't think there's been one heart on any flop. You're on really bad. It's <laughs> so bad. Jen's got two overs and a gut shot to the nuts. Easy call. It's a sign. Board pairs on the turn. Oh, that was almost a, almost a heart. Done, I assume. Garrett slows down. I assume oh. Jennifer's gonna do the same. No. She wants to keep building this pot. She bets a thousand. Say, like if you're on for doubles, you have, and to you, say. you have to say like, I hit it and double. Garrett calls, top pair still good. You triple, you're still on for triple. Triple, that's standard, right? Deuce on the river, wow. Garrett just dodges all kinds of danger on the turn and river, and now bets 600. Everybody might love Raymond, but it turns out the poker gods love Robert. Doesn't even get the small bet called on the end, though. Nice fold, Jen. Not even tempted with King High. Best fold she's ever made on the show. You make me so mad! You are a mother <laughs> Welcome back to Poker Night in America, which is technically becoming Brad Garrett's second longest running TV show. Oh baby, we've got the straddle, the double straddle, and the triple straddle. Oh, baby, <laughs> come on. All ro oh, it's a quadruple straddle. Come on, Brandon Adams. All right, Brandon. The graphics machine is literally smoking right now. I have a rule. 
There is $1,575 in the pot, and we haven't even started looking at the cards. Fantastic. Oh, for the Damn, the Gina, it is 800 just to limp in at this point. You, you made it eight, didn't you? Of course. Eight. Of course. How could you, I mean, what, what choice did you have, really? I love it. He kind of had to. Went from having 200 to 30 big blinds. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Right. I like the chance of it going full, full, full. I'm looking for like pocket uh, sevens. Two pocket sevens. Sevens would be a, that'd be a good. Uh -huh. This would be a good time to wake up with a hand like two sevens. Careful, it's, it's, it's queen jack. I kind of respect the fold at those prices. Don't have two sevens. There. Now we're up to the never there. straddles. This hand looks like a pretty easy fold to me too. There's fifteen hundred dollars just waiting to be taken out there. Yeah, you can always it's restraddle. It's different. Cash, cash game's a whole different. And Jen wants to give it a rip. Raise, make it oh, 3,000. Oh, She raises to 3,000. Nine deuce. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta defend the quadruple well, yeah. straddle. <laughs> <laughs> it's mandatory. Yeah. I have to. I think if Jen bets, she might take this whole pot down. God, I almost had I have to defend. I have to defend. I almost <laughs> had aces. Sorry. So sick. Oh, she has a deuce, too? I have a two. But I had but I had other stuff too. So Oh you had other, other stuff, stuff with your deuce? Yeah, other stuff with that juice. Thank you. You know, I like losing <laughs> Jennifer Tilly, but I love Winning Jennifer Tilly. Yeah, uh, me too. I will not rest until I've annihilated Jason. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be a long life. <laughs> We're on day three here at Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida. And on day one, uh, Jason Mercier really drugged Jennifer Tilly over the poker coals. Uh, after taking his course. A couple of players with Ace King, oh, and then Jason wakes up with Queens. Yeah, with all those aces and kings out, I don't think anyone's going to be annihilating Jason any time in the near future. <laughs> One of these two players is going to call. That's for sure. Which one's it going to be? Can it be both? Because if Wasserson calls, he's maybe thinking that Garrett would also call behind him. Now he's playing a big pot. What a fold by Wasserson. All right, so now back to Garrett. What's Brad going to do? I think we're going to get to see Brad Garrett play a big hand post-flop. I call. I want to see him put out a bunch of those red stacks. Well, yeah, I mean, Jason stands to win a lot of chips here. Literally. There's hundreds of them. Wait a minute. So Garrett calls. Just keep it real. <laughs> Just keep it real. 5,200 in the middle. Can Garrett outflop him? He cannot. Not the flop you're looking for when you have ace king. Almost exactly the flop you're looking for when you have two queens. All, all in. Raise all in. Call. Call. <laughs> 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 uh, Queen. Rats got out, sort of. Remember, another ace and king were folded. Yeah, you got all kinds of stuff. Oh, well, I guess we're going to make that play. Doing it on the flop is, yeah, I guess if you want some life to live, a spot to do it. I don't like your chances. Oh. I had four three of clubs. I had ace king. Did you really? Yeah. Brick on the turn. Oh. Uh. It was great. It was really fun. Thank you. Day the laughter died. Well, Brad, it's been too short. Unlike your sitcom Till Death, which was somehow on for four seasons. Oh, Stapes, we all know you're glad to see him go, because now you can go back to being the second funniest person at the Now table. people will remember. They'll just be like, oh. Wasn't it great when Brad Garrett was here and the show was actually funny? Yeah, it's true.
Well, we all know that Brad is down 5K, but find out where everyone else stacks up after the break. I hope you lose. I hope you win, Jen. If it's not against me, I hope you win. He does not hope I win. Oh. <laughs> you make me so mad! <laughs> you are a mother f <laughs> I hate him. I can't win. Poker Night in America is brought to you by our trusted friend, Kimosabi Mezcal. Why settle for tequila? Step up to Kimosabi. Show me the money. Literally. Let's see where everyone's money is. Or isn't. Poor Brad Garrett. 0.0. 0. All right, kids, that's all for Poker Night in America this time. Come back and next time to see who fills in the enormous hole left by Brad Garrett. It's chip stack. The hole in the comedy will be filled by, as usual, no one. Yeah, that's us. Oh, sorry, Chris. We could we totally could do that. Sure. Hey, what? I, I, I'm the funny one on the show. Oh, you're really nailing it. I think we got it. Where's our Emmy? For more from Poker Night in America, visit us at PokerNight.com, or you can connect with us on Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, and Twitter for up-to-date information, full episodes, and unedited live streams. So I'm the funny one. I'm going to say something real funny. See, it's funny. Poker Night in America is brought to you by Kimosabi Mezcal. Jennifer, let's say I had a time machine and a mm -hmm. different head. Mm -hmm. What do you look for in a man? Because, you know, I've been following your career a little bit. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, bullets over Broadway changed my life. I just want you to know it's one of my... <laughs> no, no, I'm not... I, we're off the air right now. I'm just telling you this as a friend. It was one of the most... But what do you... What do you Like, when you saw so Phil, what went through... <laughs> I, I just want to know. What was the... Not that he's not a great guy, uh -huh. but what, what, you know, what was the... What were you thinking? I was thinking. No, I, mean, it's I was good, thinking. He's good in math, you know. Looks I was like thinking. He lives at home. Go well, you know, away. <laughs> no, I mean he's a, you know, what do you ride a unicycle or something? No, Is no, no. Special no. skills. You know, he was buzzing around me trying to teach me how to play poker, and I thought. Did he really teach you? No. no. Yes. Well, he did. Yes. But I thought I knew how to play poker, so I wanted okay. him to leave me alone. Yeah.